Here's another tutorial by Longhorn Physics. Uh, in this one, we are going to be converting uh, units in the metric system. Uh, we're going to be converting uh, bigger units to smaller units. Uh, you'll see that uh, this is maybe a different way of converting that you've never done before, so keep an open mind. First thing you want to do is uh, copy the smiley faces here, draw a bigger smiley with the arrow there, and then show yourself a little smiley one, and then put a star multiplication. Uh, symbol there that you see from the keyboard and then go ahead and write the rule bigger to smaller multiply so the first example we have 400 meters and we're going to convert it to centimeters so the first thing we want to talk about is exactly how many centimeters are in a meter so there's 100 centimeters and one meter so as you'll see in class, we have a meter stick, and there's a 100 centimeters in one of those. The other unit we want to talk about is there are 1,000 meters and one kilometer. You can think of a kilometer as miles, uh, even though they're not exactly the same thing, but it's a long distance. There are 1,000 meters or 1,000 meter sticks in a kilometer. So if we're going to apply the rule bigger to smaller, the first thing we need to talk about is, well, hey, which one is larger? So here's how you decide. Whenever you're looking at a table or chart of all your conversions, uh, the first thing you do is you need to know what each one stands for. But the one that has a 1 there is always your bigger unit. So keep that in mind as we convert these two. So let's let's do the first one. So we look here, we're going to 400 meters to centimeters. So we know a meter is bigger than a centimeter, but we also kind of know because we, we know what a meter stick looks like. And we know those little centimeters are 100 of those there. So we are going from a bigger to a smaller unit. But again, if you don't have a visual of it, just look at the uh, table where they show you the amounts of each. And the one that has a one there is always your bigger one. So if you're going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, all you do is multiply by how many they are in, in one of the uh, units there. So there's 100 centimeters in a meter, so we got to multiply by 100. And then that gives us approximately, or more than approximately, about 40,000 centimeters. All right, let's go to number two. So now we got kilometers and meters. How do we know it's going from bigger to smaller? Well, once again, the one's there, so kilometers are bigger than meters. Plus, you probably have a visual of kilometers uh, compared to just a, a meter. Um, so again, we got 30. We're going to multiply again, but this time we're not going to multiply by 100. We have to multiply by 1,000 because there's 1,000 of those meters sticks in one kilometer. So when we multiply, we should wind up with 30,000 meters.